So now I'm going to talk about how I would hit a dying backhand length. So let's have an example here. What I'm really thinking about there is really coming down on the ball with a steep swing. So you can see my racket preparation is high. And what I'm really thinking about doing is coming down on the ball. Now, as you probably can notice, I wouldn't recommend copying me at all because obviously my technique is different. I'm playing with two hands. Um, but I think the concept is the same for everybody, whether that's um, a beginner or intermediate player. What you really want to think about is coming down on the ball and really thinking about where that ball is going to be landing in the back corners. What a lot of people would say, or what a lot of people would think is a good length, normally is the ball coming into the back corners, looping off the back wall. Now for me, that is actually not a good length because it's giving people the opportunity to wander to the back corners and then have a bit of time and have a kind of a clear shot. What I'm really thinking about is getting the ball to die in the back corners. And the reason that that can happen is because you're coming down on the ball with a reasonably steep swing. Um, in terms of where the ball is going to land on the front wall, I would probably hit the ball slightly below the cut line a lot of the time, especially around the middle of the court. But depending on your level, what, you, what the most important thing is, is just where the ball lands in the back corners. So if you find the ball is landing a bit short, then lift the ball a bit higher. Um, the most important thing is the ball landing probably two or three inches behind the back of the service box with a fading trajectory that lands into the back corners.